Welcome to learning your way for life. My name's Andy Wicks and I'd like to explain how this project started. My colleague and I, Tony Waite, we have over 70 years of teaching experience between us and it wasn't very difficult to notice that all the teaching that we had to do was based around remember this and of course very few people remember everything. So we thought understanding what you did would be a much better way of doing things. Mostly we're taught lists of things and what you get in a classroom is something like the Battle of Hastings was in 1066. Remember that. And then tomorrow the teacher would come in and say when was the Battle of Hastings? And you'd say 1067 sir and get a clip round the ear. That is nothing to do with education. That's learning, pure learning. Understanding means you understand why the Battle of Hastings happened and what it meant that there were two rivals fighting for the same crown. Both had been promised the crown and that the effect was to change the way that the British society worked forever. And because of what happened many centuries later, what happened in 1066, was really important because we went all over the world and stole things from all sorts of places and said and you will do it our way and so the British system was imposed on a lot of places that had their own excellent systems to start with. So that is the big difference between learning and understanding. So we thought about how we could do things better. Well, one of the things we couldn't do is to go into every classroom in the country and say, do you know what? You're doing it wrong. Or even better, to go to the Secretary of State for Education and say, do you know what? You're doing it wrong. It's not going to happen. So what we thought would be better is to provide a learning platform, an online learning platform, that could be used by people who wanted to understand rather than just remember. Yes, you'll see lots of facts presented on this site and if you remember them, great, no problem with that. But you should understand why those facts matter and how they can be used in interpreting other things. So we looked at which theories of learning were considered to be good practice and there's a whole video on those theories. Having decided on what was good practice, we then sat down and decided that the best way to make people understand was to break the syllabus up into little bits, with tiny atoms. We call them tasks because it has more to it than just that little bit of learning. If you break things up into little bits, you're more likely to be able to get through it without falling asleep. And if everything you need for that particular task is there, so you've got the contents, you've got the summary, you've got a little quiz that you can use to check your understanding. You may also be able to complete coursework if you're part of a course on that page as well. So if everything you need is in one place, then that would make your life easier would help you understand and that means you can use that understanding when you go forward to the next level of course. And if we can help people understand, we've achieved our goal. So what sort of people should be looking at this site? Well, really anybody. Everybody, including your teachers, should be a student. If you stop learning, you shouldn't really be teaching and there are reasons for that. But what sort of students would want to take our course? Well, there's a problem with time. We have a system where you have a scheme of work and each week you know exactly what's going to be covered. Except that some people find some bits more difficult, they get left behind. Some people find things so easy that they can't be bothered to do it and they get left behind. And the syllabus only works for those people right in the middle. And that's going to be a third of the class at best. So how can you go about 
ensuring that everybody gets to play? Well, you allow them the time they need to do whatever it is they want to do. So, for example, you're probably cleverer than me, so you would learn this far quicker than I would. But I keep going, and that bit at the far end that you find more difficult, I find quite easy. So we end up in the same place at the same time, but in different time zones for each of these tasks. The materials are split into these little bits, and you can watch these materials as video, you can read them as a PDF, you can read them on screen, or you can listen to them as an MP3 on your favourite player. The order that you take the tasks in is not set. Your teacher may say, do them in this order, but if you feel that one over there would help you most, then do that one over there first. There is nothing on the site that says you must do things in a particular order. You may have a background that I haven't got. So you skip through several of the tasks and continue where you left off. There is no right way of doing things. There's no penalty for trying. Uh, so if you try and it doesn't work out, just try again. It's a computer. It doesn't care how often you take the tests. It doesn't care how long you take to read through something. It's not going to judge you. And there is no penalty for going back to previous tasks and saying, ah, oh, how did I do that again? Uh, what was it I needed to do? Ah, yeah, that was it. You can go backwards and forwards at will. And in that way, you can make your education your way. This site is free. It's free for students, it's free for schools, universities, colleges, anybody. You will see discrete advertising on the left hand side of the screen. That's there to pay for the servers and for the software and all of that. But we're not out to make huge profits. We're not aiming to become the next Bill Gates. Everybody can use this site but there's an even better bonus. Everybody is a student and everybody can be a content creator. So that piece of uh, that task that you found really difficult to understand, you can add a bit to it that says, this student created this explanation of how this bit worked. And so in that way, everybody gets to improve everything that's going on. And if you want to add it in different languages, that's fine too. Nobody is going to stop you doing that. So uh, everybody is a student and a creator, but everybody can also be staff. You might decide that you'd like to have a set of learning materials on your favourite football club, on your favourite pop group, on your favourite hobby, Yet you like uh, collecting dinosaur bones, for all I know. Go for it. Create your own set of materials. You can do that on this site too. And if you have any questions, or if you feel that there's something we could do better, please let us know. Thank you.